this is why you want to start with your vacuum cleaner. This right here is a dead moth. Ew. <laughs> bedroom set and the first thing you're going to do with the bedroom set or any furniture that you pick up is going to be clean it. So I've already vacuumed out all the drawers and all the spaces in here and um, one thing is when you're vacuuming you can see any damage that is on the furniture so then you'll know in advance what repairs you need to make. So to clean this I suspect this was in a, um, a home where there was smoking going on and you can just kind of see if, if Jim can zoom in a little you can kind of see the nicotine or tar or whatever that is just hanging onto this piece. So what we're going to do is pour some crud cutter in a bucket. I don't want to go crazy, <laughs> but it's just a cleaner and degreaser crud cutter. And I'm going to put some gloves on. Maybe not. <laughs> talking about we're gonna be painting this furniture so we got a scrub brush we get a scrub brush anywhere we happen to be at um, Home Depot when we got this one but you can get one at Walmart you can find these nice scrub brushes over at the Dollar Tree so we got a scrub brush okay and I'm just gonna put that in the Crud cutter. The brush allows it all these grooves, the crud cutter to get into all those grooves. So you're really going to scrub and clean your furniture. If we just painted over everything that was on this, the paint is not going to stick. It's not, you're not going to have a good finish, you're not going to have a good outcome. So the most important thing, really prep, prep, prep. It's not everybody's favorite thing. Everybody wants to just get right into the painting, but if you want a good outcome, When you're cleaning you can pay attention again to anything that may you may see that needs to be repaired you're going to want to do all of that before you start to paint Basically just getting off other people's view. Okay, so 
Now, Jim can zoom back in. It still needs to be rinsed. But you can see it's gone. And this is your dirty water. And you saw what I did. I mean, it's you, okay? Um, this is just one side. So when I go around this whole entire thing, the inside and the drawers, it's gonna be really ew. Okay, so we're gonna rinse this now. Um, I got a Mr. Bottle from um, Dixie Bell and a microfiber, a clean microfiber towel. And we're just gonna some mist, some water on it, and then we're just gonna wipe basically wipe it dry. Okay. So, so why do we rinse? Because there's gonna be soap residue on the piece from cleaning it, and then your paint will stick to that residue instead of the piece. So, why we wanna just make sure it's rinsed very well. Okay, so this piece is all cleaned up. Um, just to remind you of some of the steps, we vacuumed. Um, inside, outside, upside down, everywhere. Um, La Yuck came out with that. Now we did the crud cutter and we used a scrub brush to make sure that everything was clean and um, all the ickies came off. And then we had to rinse it to get the residue off the piece of furniture. So I used the Dixie Bell Mr. Bottle and a clean microfiber towel to make sure that it was all rinsed off. So there's a couple other steps that we need before we actually paint this. Um, in the case of this piece, we're gonna have to scuff sand just to give it a little bit of tooth for the paint to bite to. Um, actually, we're gonna be priming it first. And you'll see that. We're gonna release a video on refinishing these nightstands probably in the next four or five days, hopefully sooner than that. Um, so you'll see the last bit of prep work we need to do before actually applying paint um, and you also can see that in some of our other videos where we actually scuff sanded and got things ready for painting so we will see you in the next video flipping awesome